Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be learning about electricity. We'll start with what is electricity. Electricity is fundamental form of energy observable in positive and negative forms that occurs naturally or can be produced and is expressed in terms of movement and interaction of electrons. Atoms, the basic building blocks of matter, are made up of three basic components protons, neutrons and electrons. The protons and neutrons cluster together to form the nucleus, the central part of the atom and the electrons orbit about the nucleus. Protons and electrons both carry an electrical charge. The charges they carry are opposite to each other. Protons carry a positive electrical charge while electrons carry a negative electric charge. Neutrons are neutral. They carry no charge at all. We will first learn about repulsion due to like charges. According to Coulomb's law, the charges at rest have following properties. Like charges repel each other. Thus, two negative charges or two positive charges repel each other. The repulsion acts along the line between two charges. The size of the force varies inversely as the square of the distance between two charges. Let's learn about repulsion due to like charges with the help of an activity. Here I have cut a plastic bag which looks like a jellyfish and an inflated balloon and I will charge the balloon with the help of this woolen cloth. Balloons are neutral but when rubbed on head they gain electrons and become negatively charged. So we can mark this balloon as a minus sign representing negatively charged. Now I will rub this woolen cloth hard against this balloon in one direction. Now due to handling plastic must have naturally gained some electrons. I am still rubbing it hard so that electrons from this woolen cloth gets transferred on the balloon. Now I will pick this jellyfish and let's see what happens. How this is happening? As both jellyfish and the balloon are negatively charged, they repel each other and thus jellyfish swims away. From this we can depict that like charges always repel each other. Thus positive positive and negative negative repel each other. When we drag our feet across a carpet, we create many surface contacts between our feet and the carpet, allowing building up a static charge on your skin. We call it static because the charges remain in one area rather than moving or flowing to another area. Instead of we and the carpet having a neutral charge, a charge imbalance is being created between us as a conductor and the carpet as an insulator. Then when we touch a doorknob which is metal, all the charges wants to leave us and go to the doorknob in order to restore the charge imbalance. Therefore, we get a shock as the electrons leave you. Electronic repulsion is the reason why we don't fuse to everything we touch. Otherwise, we would have got electric shock when we touch anything. Now let's learn about attraction due to unlike charges. According to Coulomb's law, unlike charges attract each other. Thus, a negative charge attracts a positive charge. The attraction acts along the line of two charges. Let's understand this with the help of an activity. Let's have a look at the materials required. I have taken a bottle. You can take any stand which has a narrow top. I have taken two straws and for charging I have taken a woolen cloth. Now I will keep one straw over the top of this bottle and I will charge this straw by rubbing it against the woolen cloth. Remember we have to rub it only in one direction. Now let's have a look 
that what happens when I bring this charged straw near the straw which is kept over the top of the bottle. This is happening because of positive charge on this straw and negative charge that developed on this straw due to rubbing against the woolen cloth. This is the reason why the positively charged green straw got attracted towards the yellow straw and started rotating along with it. From here we deduce that opposite charges attract each other. Static electricity is an imbalance of electric charges within or on the surface of a material. The charge remains until it is able to move away by means of an electric current or electric discharge. Static electricity can thus be defined as a stationary electric charge typically produced by friction which causes sparks or crackling or the attraction of dust or hair. In this activity because of friction of straw and the woolen cloth straw got electrically charged. Now we will shift to the next section which is about flowing electric current. An electric current is the rate of flow of electric charge past a point or region. An electric current is said to exist when there is net flow of electric charge through a region. Let us understand flowing electric current with the help of an activity. For the activity I have taken a multimeter a plastic tube, bare copper wires, copper wire made into stopper which will stop water but not the pieces of plastic. We have plastic straw made into pieces as well as a 20 ml syringe and water. As you can see I have filled the pieces of straw entirely inside the plastic tube and with the help of the copper stopper I have sealed both the ends of the plastic tube, plastic tube and with the help of the copper stopper I have sealed both the ends of the plastic tube. Also I have inserted the bare copper wires to both the ends of the plastic tube. I have attached the ends of the copper wire with the multimeter probe. Now I will take 20 ml water in the syringe and I will plunge this water in the plastic tube. Let us have a look at the reading of the multimeter. We could see the deflection in the reading of multimeter. From here we can depict the flowing charge in electricity. An electric current is said to exist when there is a net flow of electric charge through a region. In electric circuits this charge is often carried by electrons moving through a wire. Using electricity we can transfer energy in ways that allow us to accomplish common shows. Now, can you tell the difference between static electricity and electric current? Hope you enjoyed this video. Join with me in the next video to learn about effects of electricity. Thank you.